right guys, let's put together our cute little shaker frames. So I've got some sizes done already. Um, this is the four by six size. Really cute, shake it around in there. And this is one with one of the four by six cut aparts. And this is the four by four size with one of the four by four cut aparts in there. And then this is the one we're gonna make together, the little uh, three by four one. And the concept is the exact same for any size. It just, you just cut the straws at different sizes. So the straws that I use are from Recollections, from the Craft It, and this was in here. And so um, I got the black and white ones and the uh, white and black polka dot ones. And they were kind of pricey. I did use a coupon there, but they were, I think, $15. Uh, that's Canadian currency, so I'm not sure how much they would be in uh, an American Michaels. But that's why I got those colors, because I wanted a variety that I could use on a lot of different projects. This black and white pretty much works any time of the year, including Halloween, so it was perfect. So you need the straws, and I'll tell you what size I cut those at. And you need some uh, sequins. This is the um, Neat and Tangled, and I'm not sure, okay, here we go, Festive Fall Sequin Mix. So really cool there. And uh, you need some wet glue, you need some tape, and you need something to roll your um, straws with. I'm just using an unused bottle of my uh, art glitter glue and then you that's about it. So how you begin is you take a straw I'm just gonna grab a full straw here and you line it up on your ruler and so we're doing a 3 by 4 frame so I would need two 4 inch straws and two 3 inch straws so I would need, um, I would mark it at three for doing the three inch one, and then I would mark it at four for doing the four inch one. So if I marked it at three, I would cut it, and then there would be enough left over for me to cut another four inch section out of this straw. Um, so that's just how you do it. So whatever size straw you need, you just cut it down to that. Um, so, I've got my straws ready here, so I've got my two three inch pieces and my two four inch pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my art glitter glue bottle and I'm going to take the straws and I'm going to kind of press down on one side and I'm going to roll it and then I'm going to flip it over and press down again and roll it. Alright, so then we get like the flattened straw like that and you're gonna do that to all four of your pieces so let's do this one as well all right and I think these two I had already done yes um, so you will also need some uh, tool so I've just got like a scrap piece of tool here you don't need a very big piece for this and I bought a big roll of tool like this again from Michaels and I think it's like six or seven dollars and it's gonna last me forever there's a ton of tool on there so not too expensive all right so I've got one of my three by four cut aparts here from the collection so I'm ready to go on that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my long pieces so one of my four inch pieces and one of my three inch pieces and I'm gonna put them together just like when I make my frames for my albums. So I'm just gonna put them together right on top of each other like this. And you could clip them together and stuff like that, but I find it's harder that way. So then I'm gonna snip from this edge here up to this corner, trying to make sure I keep them really nice and tightly together. All right, and then this would go right there. I'm just gonna trim this one a little bit like that and then these are going to go like that right there 
So then I would take the same one and my next long piece on this side and I would just snip up from the corner here to the corner up there, making sure they're nice and tight together here. And you can squish them if you need to, to get a better idea of what you're doing, where you're cutting, and then you can always puff them up a bit afterwards. And again, we're just gonna cut corner to corner there, and then you can just cut a little bit of a sharper corner if you need to. And then they're gonna go there like this. All right, and then we're gonna take our other short piece that goes down here at the bottom, and we're gonna do the same thing. And we are just going to line them up on top of each other, just like this. And then we will cut. And I'm gonna do this other piece the same way. So I've got them all cut here to go around my frame. And now I'm gonna start by gluing the top one down first. And I'm just gonna use the arc little glue to do that. You could use hot glue, um, however, it's very, very, very unforgiving and you will not, um, you won't have any wiggle time with the hot glue. that's dry enough now. So now we're going to take our piece of tool and essentially we're just going to encase it in, encase our cut apart with our straws in the tool. But we're gonna leave one end open so that we can pour our sequins in before we close it up. So I kind of just like to pick a spot to start out for this one. Well, so we'll start at the side and I'm just going to add some of my score tape. Again, you can use hot glue for this step, but I have burned myself one too many times, so I'm just going to use the tape. All right, so now we're just going to put it upside down in here, like so, and then just wrap the tool up onto the tape and give it a press just like that okay and then we're going to add the tape to the other side press it down and then you're going to want to pull the tool as tight as it will go basically because otherwise the sequins could fly out. So we're just gonna pull it really nice and tight, just like that. And then we can flip it over and just kind of check it out. So that's looking good. I'm gonna leave the top section open to add in my sequins. So now down here, I'm adding another piece of the tape just right over top of that other tool from the sides. And if you find it hard to remove the tool or the tape from the sections that have tool, just start from the begin or from the middle and work your way over. So now what I'm going to do on these edges here, I'm just going to like fold it in kind of like a present and then I'm going to fold it up, making sure to pull nice and tight on those corners. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side, kind of fold it in like that, and then just press it down really nice. And then you're just going to take your scissors and trim off any of that excess tool. So now I've got my little sequins here, 
And you can just kind of guesstimate how many you want in there. And we'll just pour, pour some in there. All right, that's about good for me. About you know, half an inch at the bottom there or something like that. Doesn't have to be anything too specific. And now we're going to add some more of our score tape up here. Again, just start from the middle if you're having problems at the to get it off the sides again. We're just going to tuck in the edge like a present and fold it over. And the same thing on this side and fold that over and then just kind of give it a press in the middle. And now we're just going to trim off that excess tool. And there you go, there will be your little fun shaker frame to embellish your album covers or the inside of your album like I'm going to do. Super fun. So that is the 3x4 sizes and the 4x4 and the 4x6. So really, really cute and easy to do. I think way easier than regular shakers. And I just love the tool, especially for Halloween, because it kind of looks like a web.